Jumping on the bus is something millions do daily, but in Ukraine, that routine comes with risk. When the rocket hit, I was getting ready for work with my husband. Thank God, two walls saved us. More than 20 people were injured after the early morning strikes. Residential and industrial targets were hit. About an hour south in Zaporizhia region, rubble and bodies. A horrific but all too familiar scene. He says he heard the strikes around three in the morning, three explosions. He could tell it was nearby. The men here are asked how they survive. They say there's no option. It's just how it is. Air raid sirens in the capital are now accompanied by snow and power outages. Repeated Russian strikes on the nation's power grid have left many without heat. Ukrainian officials say four cruise missiles were shot down by air defense systems over Kyiv, along with five drones. It's not just Ukraine keenly focused on security. The president of Poland took to the side of Tuesday's deadly missile strike in person, meeting with those on the ground at the grain facility in the small village in the country's southeast. Andrei Duda again stressed the incident appears to have been an accident resulting from Ukraine's air defense system. It is an extremely difficult situation and it is not a surprise to anyone that there is a lot of emotion here. Ukraine disputes the preliminary findings and dispatched its own investigators, joining Polish and American crews on the ground. Crystal Gamansing, Global News. London.